Hello, hey everybody. Triple braided Jeez. cord here. And guys, we are doing a rewind because we went all the way back to the beginning of the year. When yeah. we started this journey of Tour for the Nation, we started with Maryland and Maryland Night. But we never got you a Maryland recap because we didn't exactly know what we were doing at the time. So, I mean, I think there was a rookie little video. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. A yeah. little video, but it wasn't like our other one. So we just yeah. felt like we did not do Maryland justice and we need to go back and just catch you up on everything that was revealed that the night. night of January 25th or 6th? Yeah, 25th. Yep, January 25th, 2019, when we gathered um, up in Westminster, Maryland with a group of about 20 people. Was it 20? Uh, no, so I it, think um, oh, I I wrote 26. Down. I think 26. I thought it was 30. I have my journal just in case we forget something. 27 we, maybe? We did back. go back yesterday and watch the whole thing because we videoed oh, it. Thank yes, goodness. Yes. And Amazing. just to really remember what was all prayed for. So it's going to be as detailed as possible. We had 27 people there. There we go. 27. 27. Seven is a great number. Completion. So, so in the beginning, you know, we didn't exactly know what this looked like. So we decided we're going to be praying to the nation um, from Maryland, the state of Maryland, for our leaders. So whoever wants to come, please come and join us for this healing night. So we pretty much explained our journey, how we yeah. received the prophecy about yeah. going to each state, and that we are going to do that for the entire year. And then Who we, we all were gathered. at Triple Braided Cord, and Terry, um, our worship leader, started with like three songs, I believe. Well, it was so exciting so. because we had um, Terry, our friend Wendy, and our friend Sheila all fly in from Nashville, Tennessee that weekend. Yeah. To come be here um, for the launch of this. Yeah. And we and also had a friend from D.C. Angela. and another one from Virginia. So it was kind of like a, um, yeah. a mix a mixed pot, all praying in from Maryland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we started, we just all stood in a circle. We realized after that that for the future ones, stood. we had to sit down. Stood. We, we forgot the chairs. We stood for about an hour and a half and prayed. Two hours, probably. <laughs> it, was, it was over two hours. Okay, so let's no. go over some of the main things that were received that night. Well, the word was mockery. Now, looking back, oh, sorry. You got no, no, that's right all. Now. That's all. Just so you know, the word was mockery. And at, at this oh, time when it was starting, we had no idea what any of these words, like as yes. we went along, we, we learned to realize that what the words initial initially meant had nothing to do with what the message God was trying to convey that's through right. it. And so when we first started with like mockery, okay, we had no idea what to expect. And the amazing thing about Baltimore and Maryland was as we watch the video back now, we realize that we touched on key issues that we prayed for in the rest of the states. So yeah, this this is the only state yeah. we did that. Other ones, we were more focused on the state, on the state we were at. Right. But this one, we hit something from every state that we had been to. Yes. And we only know that because we looked back on it after bit yeah. And we wouldn't have yeah. known. It, we God didn't know what was happening in the other states yet. So this was all... Honestly, prophesied and prayed for to in Maryland night to manifest before we went to each of these other states. Yes, and that's actually really that, that was really that's incredible. one of those power things that happened. Really looking back now, we did have this one guy, Johnny Walker. Shout out to you, hey Johnny. Yes, we did not know him at all, and he received the message that we were having the prayer gathering and came without knowing anyone there. Yeah, and he, said, he was like an angel sent in the door. I will say mm -hmm. that he he Look definitely up. worked in the prophetic. Um, I would say one of the most people that was able to work in the prophetic see visions during the prayer meeting, which was mm. so incredible. And he really brought a lot of insight onto what we are tackling yes. as mockery. So that was really cool. So what, why don't you say what you got about the mockingbird? The mockingbird was one of the main things. Okay. Okay. So somebody there was saying that they were seeing a mockingbird and how a mockingbird mimics things and copies things and so we were thinking of mockery in terms of being made fun of yeah. um which comes in later but at that point god was saying maryland is going to be a state that once it catches fire with this holy spirit movement that's happening other states are gonna want to copy what's going maryland. on here they're gonna want to mock because it's maryland. gonna be such a copy supernatural it. reversal of everything that is happening and that's yes. where they see the supernatural reversal of economics in the city of uh, shootings and like you know deaths in the Violence. city like but it just a complete turnaround that people are gonna say yeah. what's going on here and what to copy what this you know what has happened yeah and yeah, we prayed for revivals to happen in the stadiums, M&T yes. Bank and Camden Yards, that people would be filling in, not for football games, but for worshiping God and yeah. big revivals taking places in the middle of the city, which was really cool because it was connected also to the Ravens specifically, which Jordan brought up the um, 
story of Elijah. Elijah or, yeah, yeah, that's right. The the story of Elijah when um he was a prophet um in the Bible and when he was growing really weary on his journey, um it says that God sent him the ravens for mm. provision, who brought provision to him. So yeah. he was just saying the ravens are bringing the provision, and so we declared that over them. Yeah. And um, I know one thing that Johnny brought up was about just the um, heroin epidemic that we have here and the opioid epidemic uh, and, drugs, yes. and just that people yes. would catch the high of the Holy Spirit and be transformed and delivered from any drug addiction yes. that are happening in our city. And also like a complete shift. Um, we were really declaring into all the system, like our school system, social, the, um, the service workers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah the teachers, service workers, police officers. We were just praying for their safety and for authority to be brought back um, into each state and each leader and we really prayed for, for the schools, schools to be transformed. That, you know, the public systems that have taken God out of schools, that the people there, the servants there, the teachers, the administrators will be the ones to share the light of God and to share the, the light of God yes. in there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, there I'm, just looking, I'm looking up, at our notes here. Um, they were also brought up the religious spirit over churches and how um, oh, the yeah. works, legalistic, the, the law, legalistic, the law that was brought in. Instead of people following the law, a relationship come into a relationship Jesus. with Christ. We really prayed into that starting there. Um, um, we just prayed into how... You know, we are making a mockery of life with, you know, the things that are happening in New York where we're saying that people can abort in their ninth term and everything Mm -hmm. that's been happening there. We were repenting on behalf of the mockery of life that, you know, the gift of life and on the mockery of our president. We prayed against that and the mockery of just other leaders and um, really a mockery of God as the authority figure over our nation, how it's being made a mockery. You know how that's be God is being made a mockery of. Maryland is also the archdiocese of the Catholic Church, and we are really praying into that. And at the time, it was coming out more about the, um, you know, pedophilia that was happening within there, and we are just asking for the exposure of that and just to clean that out because we know yep. that is just all from the demonic. And we really were praying um, into yes. the exposure. Well, tell of that. them, Madison, too, about your vision that you had of being mocked like for the beginning because oh, yeah. a lot of this with the word mockery God also revealed has to do God's with what they just said yeah God's, God's people, people and his spirit are being mocked during this time like we're, we are in these times where we're seeing it's um Christians are undergoing more persecution um not in not in ways Outright that we immediately ways. think of you know it's not like yeah. we have to we can't talk about a religion and things like that not now that, but no. it's in undercover ways such as prayer being taken out of schools such a, you know things little by little um that is creeping in and so madison yes. had a vision well no in the, um in the beginning of this journey of tour for the nation god told me to go back in my vision journal so when i was um filled with the holy spirit my spiritual gift was visions and i wrote down all the visions i had in this one journal and he said in the beginning of tour for the nation start with your very first vision and read that because it's going to line up with that was like three years ago right oh yeah like yeah four four years four years ago yeah something like that so anyway i opened up to my first vision i was like all right i guess this is for maryland and Mm -hmm. my very first vision was of not specific but just family and friends that i I knew was like family and friends like that's not specific ones and they were laughing at me and pointing and laughing for what i was doing and I was like, oh my gosh. But as, but I saw myself as a cartoon character, which sounds like, you know, because it's more like a dream, a visual type thing. And as they were laughing, I was getting bigger. Like I was like gaining muscle, like getting popping, you know, and popping up. And it, like, oh my gosh, I was so symbolic of as they were laughing, I was getting stronger in the spiritual. And um, it didn't matter what they said. God was telling me, oh, and he said, you are a laughing stock to your friends is what it says in the Bible. You will be a laughing stock to your friends because of what you look like. And it, it, I said, they were mocking me. I literally said mocking, which is just so interesting. I was like, how would I, 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 I did yeah. not even remember that at all. I was like, this is crazy. But he said, do my work. And it doesn't matter what you do. You are actually getting stronger as they laugh. So and someone going. brought up that, wow. you know, Christ the, was, was mocked before his death, before the mm-hmm. greatest gift he could ever give us. He was, he was mocked, um, yeah. you know, by the Romans and by the soldiers and everything. So, that, that was, was that was big. That was really powerful, and it's even more powerful the timing of it. That that would be for number one. It's kind of like the coming out with all of this, the launch of all of this, and oh, then so that the timing true. of when that was revealed is yeah. significant as well. Um, okay, Mockingbird Vision. Mm-hmm. We got that. Let's see. Um, California. Someone who's really strongly California. Oh, yeah, she's like, I know we're gathered from Maryland, but I'm really getting strongly that we need to pray for California and that 
um, the things the, that have been stolen from there because she saw the word burglary and she's like the things that have been stolen is it's so precious to God and it's going to be one of the toughest states to go wow. into. She was saying yes. it then and so she was like we need to arm ourselves up before before they go out or whoever goes out to pray over that. We really need to be armed in the spirit. And she was saying we also got what was coming out like um, from the TV, the media, what they're putting out. It, we have to be praying into. So oh, that someone saw a vision during the time yeah. of a TV screen being smashed, smashed, like God smashing a television screen. Mm -hmm. And we were really talking, praying just against what's being broadcasted out That's right. these days. Like the, the, you know, just anything that the Satan is trying to get into the young children, the younger generations, but also things that are not of God that he's broadcasting. We were coming in and binding that in the yeah. spirit as well. Um, I'm looking here what you wrote about um, the, the baptism of fire versus the baptism of water, which Ooh, God was, was speaking. Now looking back, it's neat good. that looking back now after this whole year pretty much, yeah. we can see that God would have brought this up then, at number one, because... That is really the foundation of our ministry as Triple Braided Cord. And that yeah, was really right. the foundation of Tour for the Nation was um, it, it's really all about the Holy Spirit. Is, right. And they, oh, this awakening and this, this baptism. Yeah, I, you'll tell, just one second. Let me just say this to set this up. But there's um, this, this awakening that needs to happen within the Christian body, within the body of believers, people who already have been baptized by water, who know Jesus. Jesus yeah. Well, and there is a second baptism that the Bible talks about, which is baptism by fire, and it's being receiving the Holy Spirit and the power and authority that comes with that. And Taylor, in this Maryland night, shared a really yeah. powerful vision that she had about that. It's, and you can read that in Matthew 3.11. And it really talks where John the Baptist is about to baptize Jesus. And he says, um, I have baptized you in water for your repentance and for your belief in God. But the one who comes after me, who I'm not worthy to touch his feet, which is Jesus, will baptize you with fire and in the Holy Spirit. And so that's what that talks about. And I just remember in college, I shared this at the night, so that's why I'm sharing it now. But in college, um, God really gave me a strong correlation with John the Baptist. And I was reading a lot about him and um, our original dream was to have a boat ministry, um, like a breakfast boat experience. And I was thinking, oh, we're going to be baptizing people in water. Like, that's so neat. There's significance there. Well, God gave me a vision, and it was of a person doused in oil. I knew it was holy oil, heavenly oil, and they were going down into water. And I was like, that's weird. Like, oil and water do not mix. That, does, that doesn't make sense. Oil and water don't mix. And he said, that's because you will not be baptizing with water you will be baptizing with fire and by the holy spirit and oil catches fire and right there wow. he showed me years ago that that's what this ministry was going to be founded on that's what what was going to be happening and that's the first thing we prayed into in maryland night was just mm -hmm. you know baptism of the holy spirit a lot of people there's a lot of mockery of the holy spirit because people don't understand it and in they the think the gifts of the holy spirit are not from god when it's in the in the bible you can read about it in it says Corinthians. you can blaspheme the name of jesus you can and be forgiven you can blaspheme the name of Jesus and be forgiven, but if you blaspheme the name of the Holy Spirit, you will not be forgiven and it will have eternal consequences. That's right. And um, so, you can read about the gifts of the Holy Spirit in 1 really Corinthians powerful. chapters 12 through 14. And it's just so powerful that that mm -hmm. is alive today for all disciples. Mm -hmm. And that was the main thing of Maryland night that we were praying into is that everyone would get that ignition of the Holy Spirit to get that fire so yes. that we can go out as disciples and bring that healing to our nation, which is only possible through this power of the Spirit. Yes, yes. that's right. So let's say what happened after. Okay, so yes. the, the most the powerful part. thing. and Always that, happens afterward, usually. that That's what it was. It was, the, it was everything that God revealed to us when it was over, and that's what we started realizing. Okay, with these states, the, well, what's happening there? It, we don't really know the real meat of what God is trying to get through until a couple days later when we Until we're on it, yeah. And so what happened was... Um, the night afterward. Well, so everyone okay, was sleeping then I'll over. Okay, will do Christmas thing, yeah. Everyone was sleeping over our house. The good ladies from Nashville, um, they were all packed in our house. So everyone had rooms upstairs. So Madison and I were sleeping down on the couch mm -hmm. downstairs yep. in, um, in our family room. And that night at about, th was it 3 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning... Um, I guess where I was sleeping on the couch, the moon was shining straight through the window and came right down on my head where I was sleeping. And it, I, I was awoken. So I was awoken by the moonlight on my face. And instantly, God showed me a vision and took me into a vision. And I was seeing the mother Mary giving birth in the stable. And if you've ever seen the movie, um, 
the about nativity story. the nativity story of it when Mary gives birth to Jesus. It's a Christmas story. You see her in the, the stable, and the North Star is shining through the stable on her as she's giving birth. That's what this picture was like. And she was crying out in pain. She was is in her last push, and she was screaming. And she's like, oh, it was, you know. And right there, I heard the Lord say, the chest has been unlocked. The Mary anointing has been released over Maryland. Mary land. Mary was highlighted. And I was like, That's, what's, what's Mary anointing? What does this even mean? And he said, this represents the birth of my spirit. Sure. And any mockery of the Holy Spirit is going to be taken down in this time. Mm. And I was like, so overwhelmed. And I, you know, cry. I'm like, I think you were up at the same time. Yeah, and yeah, I, we, we were just worshiping together and just yeah. saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, who would even think that? Yeah. Like the Mary anointing, the birth of his Holy Spirit. Because we got the prophecy in. in a very specific order. And Maryland was not first. Minnesota was first. Oh, but right. because we were moving back to Nashville, like right in that time, there was Nashville. no way we could be going to Minnesota. We're like, we just can't do it. We have to do Maryland first. So we said, oh, goodness, God, we hope this is right. Because, you know, we yeah. weren't sure if it had to be yeah. that specific order. But no, no, no. He has everything in plan, everything in purpose. And he said this had to be farce because it was the birth. It was the birth. And And someone during the night was saying, it's the last push. It's the last push. And that a birth is like, they were saying, I think Johnny may have been saying it's the last push or something. It was really interesting. Yeah, we did notice that. So it was so cool. And then Matt, tell them what happened with the Elijah list. Yeah, then four months months later, later. April comes around. April 12th. April 12th comes around. And we are sent the Elijah list. And it said... And Elijah List is just like a national platform where they put out prophecies from prophets with um, ministries all over the world, pretty yeah. much, and their prophetic download. So yeah. this came from someone so random. We prophet. don't know her, Lana Valser. She's, you know, from somewhere else. And she her, put out this word. She put out this word. And it, it, it just said, United States, get ready to birth. The spirit of mockery is coming down. Oh, my God. Oh, we, the spirit of yeah. mockery is coming out. This was in April. This was in After April. We had prayed for this in January. January. So this was just a confirmation that God mm-hmm. is speaking the same thing to His to people. All yeah. His people. Yeah, and it, it was just unbelievable. It was. Just, we were like, that's so interesting. Like, who would think the spirit of mockery coming down? Yeah, and the, the and birth, United States get ready to birth. Like all almost, of it in one. It was, and, and it's almost so as cool. if that had to be first because, in order for any of these other states to come through and for people to be able to receive. What God it was trying to reveal, it's like that mockery of the spirit had to be silenced and it had to be stopped, mm-hmm. which, you know, would make sense for Maryland yes. to be first. And then the other amazing thing with the order of this was before we moved back home to from Nashville to Maryland, we in and that was right in 2018, we were hearing return home quickly, get home quickly. And we did not know why at the time. We did not have this mission. God did not reveal this full mission to us. We had no idea. All we knew was that all three of us were, were confirming we need to get home fast. And Madison, one day in her prayer time, specifically got, felt like God was telling her, you need to return home before the clock strikes 12. Yeah. And these are the kind of things, you know, I mean, it's it like symbolic. a treasure hunt. It you, is don't like, know it, you don't exactly know what it means at the time, but right. I just write it down because I always know it'll be revealed later. Right. And... It was like basically before the end of you got to get home come the, the start new year, of the new year for the start of the new year, which yes. we didn't know at the time why. So after we gave God our yes and said we're gonna go, we don't know what you're asking, but we'll do it, and we moved home. Then he that he revealed that game plan when we made that decision and showed us that we're gonna travel to these twelve states, yes. and, and it that's gonna be and, and it begins in January, one state every month. So. In January, our friend Krista from Nashville, who always, um, she gets a lot of prophetic download and hears from the Lord, and she called us about a week or two before the Maryland gathering and said, girls, I know you have your gathering on the 25th, but I just want to tell you that God is really um, telling me that you need to be paying attention to the 27th, to um, January 27th. On that day, be listening because he's going to reveal something. So after our prayer gathering on the 25th, the next day, we since our friend Wendy was here, she we had an amazing healing day in our home where she told her testimony of healing, yes. and it was incredible. We had Holy Spirit baptisms in our basement. It was amazing. And then Sunday, we, we took our Nashville ladies to our church. And all through our year it, when we were living in Nashville, one common um, symbol that God would keep bringing up to us just to kind of like confirm his voice to us was an arrow, like from a bow and arrow. 
And so it was, and um, one of our friends in Nashville at the time, she, one day she gave us a prophecy saying, girls, I feel like God is saying that you need to be sh- pulled, you're going to be pulled back further. Like your time isn't here yet, but you're close. And it, it's just like an arrow that gets pulled back. The farther pulled back it goes, the farther it goes. So that was kind of special to us. Well, on the 20th, January 27th, we're taking the Nashville, our Nashville friends to our church after the gathering and we go in and what do we see? A prop on the stage of our church, and it is a bow and arrow. And we're like, oh, there, we had very rarely seen props at our church. Yeah, and it was the first time he used one. Yeah, and we were like, it's a bow and arrow. This is going to be good. And meanwhile, <laughs> the, the whole the whole time, basically, what was conveyed through that message to us was that this is the time where the arrow has been pulled released. back and it is now being released. Shoot. No, no, to shoot. To it's shoot. Thing. It's time to shoot. To shoot like what you've been pulled back Which for. Which reminds me, I'm so sorry, don't mean to cut you off, but someone during the prayer gathering got that the state of Maryland was in a specific shape and they were saying that it's like a gun. And from this, it, something is shooting. This is shooting out from Maryland. Yes. That was also yes. one of the cool yeah. things that was that. So um, then the fi- so we were you know we were all just so confirmed and encouraged after that about that we felt like with it was beca- being, because it was symbolic being, of tour for the nation being released, being released. and it, right that's launching, what I, launching, like after our, the very first gathering it, it began it was time to begin and so mm-hmm. when we get yeah. home our friend Krista who gave us the word to pay attention on that day she had posted this thing on Facebook talking about how the twenty seventh was a significant day for the arrow to like hit the target basically and she had a little emoji of the target and she said her whole beginning part was about when the clock strikes 12 we didn't order any of she had no idea about how any of that related with us mm-hmm. and it was the way that God uses other people to confirm, confirm his, his voice. voice and his messages to us when we're listening and so we knew we knew that we are on the right path we don't know what this whole year is going to look like, but we just have to keep going. And so that yeah. was amazing. Yes. Also, one of the most amazing things that happened is that we had someone there accept Jesus into their life at this prayer gathering. Someone brought a friend who did not uh, fully know Jesus. They did, did, not, did not know Jesus at all. And they accepted <laughs> Jesus into their life that night. Yeah, so it was amazing. That was a praise. That was amazing. Woo! Yeah. So, and then we got to pray for healing over so many people afterwards as well. Um, so it was very powerful. And someone said about the shofar. Did you want to say that? Someone brought up the shofar blowing. And after that night, we started blowing the shofar in every state that we went to um, after that. So, okay. All right, All right guys. Let's... So that is Maryland recap. We came back. We think we hit mostly everything. It was what, eight, uh, seven months ago now? Eight months? Yeah. Gosh, no, guys, guys. More. Ten months ago. Ten months ago. <laughs> We're in state 11. November is oh state gosh, number Mallory. 11. So, yeah. Ten months ago. Ten months ago this happened. So, but we really felt like we had to come back and revisit it and give you the, the real download on it. Yeah. So, there it is. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.